goodness me, year three, it's Friday maths, and haven't we crammed a lot into our maths lessons this week? Well done for all the growth mindset that you're showing, for those of you that are struggling a little bit with some of the different elements. Um, well done for those of you who are finding that actually you really understand column addition well, and you really feel like you're moving along. So I'm going to share my screen with you very quickly today. And you will see from our learning objective that we are looking at column addition with three digits. But today we are going to be looking at exchanging in the tens and the ones column. So we are starting to consolidate all that knowledge that we've had and all the things that we've worked on this week. And we're starting to put it into one sole calculation. OK, but today we are still going to be using the manipulatives. OK, we're still going to be using that concrete equipment, that mathematical equipment to help us with our understanding. So to be successful, we will be um, able to add two three digit numbers when exchanging is required in the tens and the ones. And again, understanding that place value and knowing why we are exchanging and why we cannot have more than one digit in each column. So first of all, I would like you to have a look at this. Now, the deans has already been done for me, and there are four answers. I would like you to use your concrete, concrete, concrete equipment. That's not very easy to say. And use your equipment to prove which one of these four answers is correct. And then I will show you a video straight afterwards of how I set it out. So pause here and have a go at using your concrete equipment to work out the answer to that calculation. OK, so I've already set out my equipment. I've got two hundreds, one, two, three, four, five tens, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. I've got another one hundred, three tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm starting as always with my ones column. Counting up. Oh, I've reached 10. I can't go any further. Move those away. I need to exchange those for my 110. Pop my 110 down there. Move those out of the way. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many tens do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And how many hundreds do I have? I have three. So my answer is 396. Phew, 396 is on there as D. So well done, we have been able to calculate. So how many exchanges did we have there? We had one exchange, okay, and we exchanged our 10 ones for one 10. So we only had one exchange. Okay, I would like you to have a look at this calculation. 494 plus 387. I would like you to have a go at using either the concrete method or pictorial method to prove your answer. The only thing you're not going to do is very quickly put that down in formal column addition and get that done. OK, either concrete or pictorial is the way that you are going to show your answer. Off you go. OK, so I've gone for the pictorial. OK, let's see how I did this exactly the same process. We have our hundreds, tens and our ones. We have four hundreds. We have nine tens, 90. And we have four ones. We are adding three hundreds. Another eight tens. And another seven ones. 
So first of all, I'm going to add up my ones column. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop there. Can't go any further. I need to exchange my ten ones for one ten. And now to, to add my tens. There we go. I now need to add my tens. So I've got nine tens in my first column. And I need to add one more. And I can't go any further because I've got ten tens. So I exchange my ten tens for what? One hundred. I'm then going to add up my tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, hang on a minute, Mrs. Pledger. There's something wrong there. What have I done wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I forgot my ten, so I've actually got eight tens. And I've crossed it off to remind myself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And my other 100 is eight. So my answer is 881. Hopefully that's the answer that you guys have got as well. Have a go at doing this calculation. Again, whichever method you prefer out of concrete or pictorial you can use. Okay, you are still proving your answer one way or another. We are not moving on to straight away putting this in a formal method. So either way that you feel comfortable, have a go at doing this one. Okay, and here is me using the pictorial again to show you how to do that. My hundreds, tens and my ones. 280, so that's eight tens, six, and 400, and 40, four tens, seven, seven ones. Okay, first of all, add in my ones, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to regroup those 10 and exchange it for one 10. I've now got three ones left. Okay, now I'm counting my 10s. I've got eight, nine, 10. I need to stop and exchange those 10 10s for 100. And that's the remaining. I've got two, three tens remaining. Count up my hundreds. I've got seven hundreds all together. Okay, so important to remember that you've exchanged. Okay, to remember those additional exchanges that you've made. So that is your do it for today. You've got some calculations and you are going to use either concrete or pictorial. So if you do concrete, you might decide you want to do pictorial afterwards or you may feel confident enough to move on straight to pictorial. Okay, they are one of the two methods that you are using today. So that is your do it. So pause the screen here and we will go through our answers when you have finished. Okay, so you may have different things that look like this. You have, may have gone for your concrete, showing 575 plus 296, or you may have gone for your pictorial, okay? And you would end up with something that looks like this. So your answer for that one is 871. Your next one, 391 plus 539, your answer is 930. And remember, even though we had one group of 10 and we had no ones left over for us to count, we still need to have something in that ones column, okay? Because if we take that out, 
the numbers move that way and suddenly we've got 93 rather than 930 and that is a very different number because we've taken out the hundreds column it's a hundred times less if we haven't got that zero so that shows how important that zero is in that question okay so even if you have re if you exchange and you have no ones left over you still need to remember that you've got that zero to put in 715 plus 197 912 making sure you've crossed off the 10 you've crossed off the 100 and your last one which was a bit blinded by the light um, and i promise you there was a 10 down there but it's just um shone off the reflected off the whiteboard there. 477 plus 295, your answer is 772. And I'm sure there's lots of you do some silent cheers because you were right, so well done. You're secure it today, a bit like our teacher, isn't it? You've got to work out your answer and then make sure one of those is correct. Okay, show your understanding by using concrete and or pictorial methods to prove your answer. Okay, no formal written method, just one or the other. And your deep in it today is a word problem. Okay, but there will be numbers that you can pull out. Okay, because you're asked, being asked to find out all together. All right, so you can use concrete or pictorial methods to prove your deep knit answer. And for a Friday, you know what I'm going to say, year three, this is the work you would like to see today. Okay, we don't want to see, we want to see lots of examples of you showing your knowledge. Okay, we need to see that you've got that understanding so that next week when we move on, we know that you can explain that. So have a good day and I will speak to you later.